Hello, so I had a few people request could I do some more videos on radioactive substances so I thought what I'd do is I'd show every radioactive substance I own using the mini monitor Geiger counter because it's got the alpha probe on it, it can actually pick up obviously alpha radiation so it's a bit more interesting on the things that produce lots of alpha but very little gamma or beta so let's turn it on, battery check is fine right so it's now on, you'll get a little bit of ticking as it picks up background radiation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you absolutely everything I own that's radioactive. I'm also just going to quickly grab my UV light. Oops, sorry about knocking that there. Let's get that back on centre. There we go. Um, because with a UV torch, um, you can actually get certain things to glow. So just, <clears throat> if I get it all in frame, there's um, a uranium glaze bowl. And as you can see, that has a very nice green glow under this. How well that will show up on camera, I don't know. But uranium... Uh, sort of glazed stuff or uranium glass glows very nicely under um, a light like that. So anyway, so this is a uranium glazed bowl. This used to be where people thought it was a good idea to make sort of, I think they sometimes called it Vaseline glass. Um, sort of, you know, stuff using uranium glaze just to make it look pretty. This isn't all that radioactive if I put it in front of the Geiger counter. As you can see, very little activity. Right, in here there's some radioactive glass, uranium glass, and a bit of tritium. Now the tritium is that little bit down the corner, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it. There we go. The tritium again glows really nicely in the dark, but unfortunately using a camera it's actually quite difficult to show how well some of this stuff glows. But if I just put that on there, you'll hopefully be able to see that um, both the uranium glass there and the tritium glows. So the uranium glass is the exact same stuff that was in the uranium sort of bowl, um, but the tritium is quite interesting. As far as my tritium is actually a radioactive gas, so it's kept in the glass to um, kind of um, you know keep it in place. So let me just show you both of these. So I'll hold the little bit of tritium there. I don't know what it's going to show on camera. Let's just put that in front of the Geiger counter. Again, only about two counts per second from a very small bit of tritium. Oh, and I've dropped that. I hope I haven't broken it. Where is it gone? Oh dear. <laughs> right, maybe I'll find it on the floor using um, the torch, because obviously, as I said, tritium does glow. But, hmm, not sure where that's gone. Oh well, I'll leave that bit in the video and I'll have a good look for it once I finish showing the other items. Hopefully I've not broken it, because if I've broken it I need to get another bit of tritium. But anyway, so the uranium glass, um, this is actually, you know, uh, as I say, less than 3 grams of uranium content on there. So as you can see, a fair bit more radioactive than the actual bowl, but that's just because it's the glass is more concentrated into one area uranium glass rather than it being spread over a wider area. So what's that? Five, six counts per second. Again, not all that radioactive compared to some things, but still interesting. Right, I'm just going to get one item out of a bag I've got it in. Well, it's not actually a bag, it's a four-room lamp mantle, but we'll get onto that in a second, because I want to show you two different watch dials now, because the radiation amounts on them vary. So here's an old um, radium watch dial. Again, if I get the uh, torch, you might be able to see there that those numbers glow ever so slightly under there. It's quite old, so they don't glow as well as they used to. But you should hopefully see that there's a bit of glow on there. So if we put that on there... That's nearly all alpha radiation coming off of the radium. If I put this next to my other Geiger counters, you tend not to get a reading off of this. But you get a very low reading anyway from that. But that's, I think, because it's so old, lots of radium's probably flaked off of that. So let's put that there. Right, now, to show you a watch dial that actually is more radi radioactive. So this is an old German World War II infantry watch. Um, it's got radium paint on it, but again, it probably has more radium paint left on it, because if I do that, as you can see, it's getting to about 20 counts per second or more. So I guess 20 to 30 counts per second from this one. Now, interestingly, because that's mostly alpha radiation, if we turn it around and use the back of the watch, you'll see that very little gamma radiation is actually getting through to the other side. But as soon as you flip it over, 
quite high reading. So you go, there's another watch dial. Right, now for the Thorium lamp mantle. Uh, so these used to be used on, I think some lamps still use them, it's because apparently when it burns it creates quite a lot of glow or light coming off of this. But again, This is more radioactive, getting up to about 50 counts per second from the thorium lamp mantle. If you've got an old lamp in your house, you might actually have one of these. So let's pop that in there. Right. Now, here's some uranium ore. Now, this isn't very high enriched, uh, there's no enrichment to it, but... So the uranium content of this isn't very high. So if I just put that next to the Geiger... As you can see, because it's the actual pure uranium rock with nothing sort of enriched from it it's very low in terms of um, the reading you get off of it. So yeah, there you go, actual uranium ore. But again, some if you buy some uranium ore you actually get a higher reading, it just seems to really depend on how much uranium is in your uranium ore essentially. So that's that. Now one of my favourites, the Fiesta Ware. So Fiesta Ware was where they used to think it was a good idea to paint uranium glaze on plates you'd eat of, out of, and mugs and everything. So now let me show you what happens if you put this next to the Geiger counter. Hundred and fifty to two hundred counts per second. So again, <laughs> you really wouldn't want to eat off this stuff, would you? But um, people did. Now, here's a very interesting one: the americinium or American, however it's called, from a smoke alarm. Now, this is going to be very hard to show on the camera because it's so small, but this is the side of the americinium on, that bit there. And that's nearly all alpha radiation, a bit of beta comes off of it, and that's the back side. So what I'm going to do is, if I put the back side next to the Geiger counter, you'll see you'll get a little bit of a reading from the gamma coming off of it. But not very much. Now if I flip it over... There you go, very high reading. So, there you go. That's all my radioactive stuff as far as I'm aware. Um, I need to find my bit of tritium in a second because I don't know where that's gone. I'm hoping I've not broken it. Um, but yeah, there you are. There's all my different radioactive samples being demonstrated by the mini monitor. And as I said, it's quite fascinating with some of them, like the radium watch dials and the Americanium, how high the alpha radiation is coming off of them compared to the beta or gamma you know, where you essentially don't get a reading on one side of it, and then as soon as you flip it over, it goes off the chart. So, yeah, there you go. Hopefully that's been interesting for the people who found the radioactive stuff interesting. And as far as I'm aware, that's currently all the radioactive materials I own. I mean, again, if I had bananas, I could show it on a banana, but in terms of the big readings, yeah, they're not going to produce anything like the Fiesta Ware or, you know, anything like that. So there you go.